Hello, everybody. So we'll start with a little intro video, and then I'll go through the presentation. Thousands of technologies fuel our world, from the largest vibrant cityscapes to the smallest, most delicate of ecosystems. To survive, these environments necessitate a range of dynamic technological needs. But what do they need to thrive? The answer lies in disrupting the status quo, ascending to the highest levels of innovation that meet and exceed the industry's ever-evolving needs. With a reputation for world-class performance, Akiyana delivers RISC-V-based compute, accelerator, and interconnect IP solutions to the industry's vast technological landscape. Change drives progress. Bravely driving industry change is Akiyana, revolutionaries in IP innovation, customization, and performance, transforming technological landscapes from survive to thrive no matter how complex, or refined, great or small. So, good afternoon everybody. I'm really excited that I get the chance to introduce to all of you about a RISC-5 IP company uh, called Akiana. My name is Graham Wilson. I'm part of the product team uh, within Akiana. So starting out, I'll talk about the company. So the company is a young company. It was formed about four years ago. But the team, the engineering team within the company, has been together for about 20 years. They've come from Broadcom, Cavium, Marvell, and they implemented uh, server SOCs, uh, ThunderX, that was used in server, data center, supercomputer applications. So real high-end use cases uh, for these SOCs. And as part of that, they pioneered the use of the ARM instruction set architecture into server with um, the multi-threading. So they built these processors, they built these SOCs. So four years ago, when they formed Akiana, they kind of refocused to the RISC-V ISA and then we're able to build up a database uh, of, for processors, interconnect, and so forth, that has enabled the company to very quickly build a very broad range of processors and IP. And this um, IP is also fully verified. The, the whole of the database is implemented in a system Verilog, so there's no quirky sort of generators, uh, high quality um, IP. So what do we offer with Akiana, and how do we benefit our customers? So as well as processor IP, a broad range of processor IP, we also offer, um, because it's coming from an SOC background of the team, they understand that all of the building blocks, all of the connectivity blocks need to be provided as well. So we have system IP blocks, as well as um, hardware accelerator blocks, and also importantly, the interconnect fabric. We offer the interconnect fabric so customers can build small or large heterogeneous or homogeneous uh, multi-core systems. And the benefit and the reason why that's important for the customers is it enables them at a much faster time to market, to implement these into their SOCs and get to a successful tape out. So, as I said, there was a uh, sort of a processor design database that was put together, um, enabling a broad range of processors. So the Akiana processor IP really covers this, all of the needs, the computation needs of customers. So we have three base product families, the 100 series, the 1000, and the 5000. So the 100 series is a 32-bit small embedded microcontroller um, processor. Then the 1000 is, is focused more for your mid-range data computation, AI algorithm uh, sort of application space. And then the 5000, which is really like the big boy, that's like the flagship product line, the out of order core, giving very high performance. And this product family gives an equivalent of an ARM, Neoverse, N2, N3 class of uh, processor. So at the uh, RISC V Summit in China, I saw a slide that I thought was a really good slide, showed a summary 
of where the performance process is, how the evolution and how the growth has gone. And it was put together by an independent, it wasn't a RISC V IP vendor. And it showed that there's been growth, but it talked about the barrier of 20 spec int uh, 2K6 per gigahertz and saying how RISC-V really needs to target that into the future and aim to hit those sort of performance points um, in the next couple of years. Well, with the Akiana uh, 5000 products, we're already at spec int scores over 20. So in a way, the future of performance is already here with the Akiana uh, 5000 series cores. So I talked about we offer the system IP, We've, the design team has come from sort of a uh, SOC processor implementation background. So we've implemented all these other blocks and in a way we've done the work so you guys don't have to. And so we've implemented like the, all of the interrupt controllers, IOMMU, interface like PCIe, UCIe, interface blocks, two third party controllers and FIs. Those are all things that we've done. We've also, for server class, uh, the security features, uh, RAS and telemetry features, those are already in the cores. Use them straight away. Um, we have vector extended capability. Uh, that's been implemented. We go up to 4K uh, vector length out of the box. Um, we actually have a demo over in the Akiana booth that is showing a 2K vector extended um, in order core. And with the, the, the vector extension, we also support uh, vector crypto. And also we have, I, I talked about the um, matrix. So we have accelerators. One of the accelerators is an AI acceleration. So it gives a uh, high performance gem computation capability. So it, a little bit, you couldn't even, you think it can't even get any better in terms of performance. I mean, we're looking at the highest performance processors, the broadest range of IP supported with the system IP and interconnect that can be coherent uh, interconnect or non-coherent um, interconnect. And this example, we, we take a coherent uh, interconnect network and we can then really extend the performance of these to build a very large multi-core system. So we can go up to thousands of cores in this fully coherent interconnect. And we supply all of the IP that you see in this, uh, this uh, block diagram. So we have what, what we call a compute hub, where you drop in your, uh, your processors, your compute elements, um, and then that block hooks up to other blocks like a memory interface block, an I.O. interface block, and that enables customers to kind of build their own two-dimensional mesh array so they can build it to whatever size, or we can do it for them uh, to their specification. We can then build that, and then we can deliver it to them. At, uh, for example, we've done it at a, a physical design level of um, implementation and delivered that to them. Okay, so software, a key aspect. It's great having all of the hardware and all of this interconnect and all of this IP. We need to be supporting our customers with software. So first of all, the cores are RVA23 compliant. The vector extension is um, 1.0. Um, we also have a software development toolkit with third parties. There was a, an announcement a couple of days about that with our, with our third parties. We support customers with a range of simulation models, uh, so it's like System C, QMU, and so forth, that will al allow customers to simulate the models of their cores or their subsystems. Um, we also are a very active member in RISE, so we work with the ecosystem, very active in, in uploading and so forth. And then uh, compiler support, uh, GCC, LVVVM, um, and then we've got um, an example with the demo where we've got auto vectorization showing you the, innate, the ability to activate the, the very long 2K vector length. Okay, so it's great to have all of these processes to build these very large multi-core systems or you could build small heterogeneous um, interconnect systems. But as an IP provider, it's key that the customers are able to emulate and to run their software. And so it's key that we, we provide a very broad range of emulation platforms. So we, we go from a single uh, VCU118 
uh, and also support HAPS as well as uh, Cadence Palladium Box. Because if you're going to have some of these big 5,000 cores, multi-core interconnect, you will need to be, the only option really is to run that on a Palladium Box. And again, if you go see in our booth, you go see the two demos, one is on HAPS and one is on the Cadence Palladium Box. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about customization. We're all from RISC V. A lot of customers want to customize the core. They believe that is the benefit. They can add their own extensions. They can add their own customization. So the best way is to show is like a use study that we had with a customer. This was a tier one in a mobile compute application, very focused on high performance. But because it's kind of battery, uh, then the power and the area is a key aspect. So. Discussions with customer, they focused on a, a, a 5000 series core and a 1000 series core in like a big little uh, configuration in an in a, a interconnect uh, fabric. They did their evaluation. We dropped them uh, the RTL as well as the simulation models. They did their own physical implementation, found the PPA points and said, we love the performance, but we want to improve the PPA by 30%. So working with the customer, Akiana was able to optimize the architecture of the cores, the infrastructure, the memory subsystem, and through that, we were able to give them the better PPA to 30%, and that moved the needle. That was the real, you know, to say, okay, I will move from my incumbent over to your new RISC V um, architecture. So we were able to do that. We then built it, and we were able to deliver it at a physical level of implementation to the customer. So, I got 10 minutes, there was a lot of information. Um, I'm sure it was overload, so I'll give you uh, a summary of about Akiana. So, in one word, the, what Akiana is, it's performance, performance, performance. Um, we have uh, industry leading uh, performance 5000 series with hitting a 25 second uh, score. We also uh, we offer a broadest range of product portfolio in terms of the processors, the system IP, the interconnect, and all that capability, but also at very highest quality. I said that the generator is a system Verilog system standard, all fully verified, um, and it's the, the company comes from that enterprise level of server chip, so verification is very key. As an example, um, one of the customers we were talking to, they said, okay, I get it, I believe you, but I want a third party verification to confirm the level of quality of this IP. So we took the Synopsys in Paris test suite, ran it on the cores and the database, first time, zero errors. And that shows the quality of the IP that we offer to the customers. Um, and then the ability to customize. Uh, the ability to add ex extend the ISA, the ability to customize your the, the subsystem and the interconnect. And the final comment is everything that you've seen, all of the cores, all of the interconnect, all of the system IP, and everything that I've talked about is available as production level ready. It's available today, now. Thank you very much.